morning, everyone. Miss Kay here at Little Learners, ready for another Cyber Circle. So join me at the carpet, please. Find your special place. Cross your legs, no wiggles, please. And show your smiling faces. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. Oh, we're glad we came to play. Yes, we are. We'll make friends and we will share. We'll take turns everywhere. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. Oh, we're glad we came to play. Yes, we are. We will paint and we will sing. We'll play games and other things. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. All right, my friends, let's look at our calendar. We need to find out what comes next in our pattern. All right, so our pattern goes fish, boat, sunshine, fish, boat, sunshine, fish, boat, sunshine, fish, boat, sunshine, fish, boat. Hmm. We have to find out what comes after a boat. Did you say sunshine? That's right. Good job. So we're going to look at our sunshine here. Oh, and we have to see what number is on our sunshine. I see that it starts with a number one. It's a teenager. Oh my goodness. So that means a number is going to end in a teen because it's a teenager. And today it's the number 15. Can you say that with me? 15. That's its name. A one and a five close together is 15. All right, my friends. Are you ready to help me say the numbers together? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good job. Give yourselves a big clap. Pat your back. Give yourself a hug and a great big kiss. Mwah. Wiggle your fingers high. Wiggle them low. Wiggle them fast. Wiggle job. And now I need you to tell me. Oh, first, let's see. I need four. Four wiggly fingers over here. Let's wiggle four fingers. And if we have four fingers wiggling over here, how many need to wiggle over here? One. That's not enough. Two. Still not enough. Three. I need three wiggly fingers over here. So four plus three equals seven. Seven days in a week. Seven days in a week. Seven days in a week. And I know too. That's strengthening our fingers when we do that. 
All right, now I need your whole quiet hand to go up. If you know what day it is today, we just had the two S days. So we're starting the week again. And today is, let's do our calendar trick. Put our pointer on our number 15 and go up, 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 up. Oh, today starts with a letter M. And an M says, mmm. What day of the week starts with a mmm sound? That's right, Monday. So I'm going to use green chalk today to put Monday on the board. And a Monday, the letter M in Monday is going to start up at the top, go straight down, and you're going to pick your, are you doing this on your paper? Oh, if you're not, quickly get yourself a pencil and your papers and turn it over because you need to be practicing these letters with me. Yeah. So put your chalk back up at the top, slide down to the bottom, Climb back up to the top and straight down again. There's our uppercase M for Monday. So remember, the top of our uppercases are very pointy. Our lower cases are bumps. They're round at the top, but not our uppercase. Our uppercase is two pointy tipped mountains. Then our next letter is an O. So we're going to do low down because it's a lower case. And we're going to go down around the bottom and back up to the top. Hmm. Could you do that along with me? Good job. Our next letter is an N. And an N has a little line down and only one bump. One bump over. Good job. Our next letter is a D. Now a D starts with a circle and we want our circle to be the same size. So we're gonna start at the top, go down around the bottom and back up to the top. See my circles are the same size, but my D is not finished yet. It needs a long line down touching it. So we're gonna do a long line down and touch the side. Now our next letter is an A. And an A starts with a circle too. And we want them all of our circles to be the same size. So we're going to start at the top again, down around the bottom, back up to the top. And an A has just a little line touching the side. A little line touching the side. Good. And our last letter is a Y. And that is two slides. One is little and one is long. So a little slide this way, and then our long slide is gonna touch the bottom of that slide and keep on sliding. So we're gonna go down, touch the bottom, and keep on sliding underneath. Very nice. Now you are going to use your Peter pointer, and I'm going to use my pointer, and I'm going to point to the letters, and we are going to say the letter's name because letters have names and sounds. So we'll start with the letter's name. Are you pointing to yours? This is the letter M. O. to point to the letters, but this time we are going to make their sound because each letter has a sound. And M goes, mmm, it tastes good. Yeah. 
weather type of day. We have been having some crazy weather, so I thought today's circle should be about weather today. Today will be a weather day. Today will be a weather day. My stories and my songs are about weather today. That's right. So let's say it together. Today is Monday, the 15th of June. That's right, of June. And boys and girls, this is going to be coming very soon. At the end of this week, we are going to have a little get together in the park to say our goodbyes. And these boys and girls have a picnic lunch. Maybe you will bring a picnic lunch to the park to say goodbye. That would be nice. All right. But for now, we need to look outside at our weather and say, what's the weather? What's the weather? Look outside, all my special friends. Is it cloudy? Is it rainy, snowy? Sunny, snowy or sunny? Let's see. Is it windy today? It is windy. It's been windy for quite a few days. Windy. Is it sunny? It is sunny. We're going to put up that sunshine. It is sunny. Is it snowing? It's not snowing. Is it cloudy? We have some clouds. Put those clouds over there. Is it stormy? Mm, not today, but it has been so stormy lately. We had big thunderstorms this weekend. Oh, did you hear the thunder? Did you see the lightning? Oh, yes. Miss K was visiting a friend when it was thunder and lightning. And then I came home in between the two storms. And so I was in my car for the second, the second storm. But I love thunder and lightning. I love watching the lightning. Yeah, that was something my daddy and I used to do together, watch the thunderstorms. <gasps> Is it raining outside? Not right now. So I'm going to tuck that one away and hopefully don't forget the rain. Yeah, but we have been getting rain and sunshine and rain a lot lately. And then we had the big thunderstorms. Yeah, two, two thunderstorms. One at dinner time and one a little bit at bedtime. Yeah, it was crazy but fun. Miss Kate loves it. All right. Oh, we can't leave Weather Bear like that. to wear his rain boots today because it is everywhere is full of puddles so he wants to be able to jump in those puddles all right he is also going to wear his long pants because when those thunderstorms comes comes in it starts out to get a little bit chilly yeah it's really really warm and then when the thunderstorms come, it gets a little bit chilly. And so he's going to wear his jacket today, too. He's going to wear his jacket. There we go. And he's going to make sure he takes his umbrella. Yes, in case it does end up raining, he'll be ready. And it is sunny, so he's going to wear his sunglasses. There we go. And he's going to wear his ball cap. There. Now he's ready for the crazy weather we've been having. He is ready for the rain with his umbrella and rain boots. He's ready for the cold wind with his jacket and long pants. He 
He's ready for the sunshine with his sunglasses and ball cap. He's ready for all the types of weather we might get. So let's say what our weather is like today. Today's weather is cloudy, sunny, and windy. Good job. It's time to watch and listen. We're going to read a book. We'll sit on the rug and use our eyes to look. We'll look at the pictures, hear the story too. I'm so glad I have this story to share with you. Rain, rain everywhere. Let's find out what happens to our little friends here. Rain, rain everywhere. It was the first sunny day after weeks and weeks of rain. Can we go out and play, Mom? Can we? Asked Molly Mouse, dancing in the pale sunshine. Please! Well, as long as you keep your eyes on the weather, said Mother Mouse, I'm sure there's more rain on the way. Molly and her brothers and sisters scampered across the fields. They chased each other around the tree with fluffy white blossoms. They hopped their way through the carpet of bluebells. They were really enjoying themselves so much that they didn't notice that the clouds were getting darker and darker. large drop of rain fell on Molly's nose. And then another, and another. Big dark clouds filled the sky and the rain had started to fall. And then it fell faster and faster. We're never going to make it home in time, groaned Molly. Where can we find shelter until it stops? Then Squirrel scurried by, hurrying on her way home. She stopped when she saw the little wet mice. Her own family was safe and warm in their nest. She couldn't possibly leave these little mice out in the rain. Come with me, she said. You can stay at my place. Squirrel raced ahead and bounded up the tree. But the mice didn't follow. Oh, your house is so high. It doesn't look safe in the storm, sighed Molly. Then an old harvest mouse popped her head out from under the long grass. You can stay with me, she said kindly. I have a nice warm nest of twigs. Harvest mouse scurried her way home. But the mice didn't follow. They could see that she had woven a very nice nest, but it was far too small for all of them. Just then, Rabbit found the mice. You can come and stay at my place, said Rabbit. You could join my baby brothers and sisters in our nice warm burrow. He couldn't leave these poor little mice out in the storm. Rabbit hopped his way down his rabbit hole, but the mice stayed outside. Your home is already very full, said Molly, peering inside at all the baby rabbits. I think we might get squished. Before Rabbit had time to answer, he and the mouse heard someone calling. Molly perked up her ears. <gasps> it's Mum! she squeaked. Goodness, I found you, cried Mother Mouse. This storm is getting worse, but there's an 
old hollow oak tree nearby where we can stay until the rain stops. The hollow oak tree stood at the top of the slope, so the mice scam scampered inside and soon they were warm and dry. We'll just have to stay here all night, said Mother Mouse. You can all curl up together and go to sleep. Molly Mouse couldn't sleep. She lay there listening to the roar of the wind and the pounding of the rain, and she got worried, worried about her new friends. Would Harvest Mouse's home be destroyed? Would Rabbit's burrow flood? Would Squirrel's nest be blown away? Molly looked at her family sleeping so snugly. She couldn't leave her friends outside in the storm. So Molly hurried out the door. The wind tugged and pulled at Molly as she struck across the field. There, huddled under a swaying tree, was Squirrel. You need to come with me, said Molly. We found the perfect place to stay. Just then, Harvest Mouse poked her head out of the grass, looking tired and messy. Can I come too? she asked. Of course, said Molly. And as they made their way back past Rabbit and his friends, they were huddled under a bush. You'll be kind and nice and warm if you come with us, said Molly. At last, Molly and her new friends reached the shelter of the old oak tree. Outside, the wind battered the tree and flattened the grass, but inside, everyone was safe and dry. The wind had stopped by the time the morning came, and as the sun crept up into the sky, the animals crawled out of their shelter, and there before them was a rainbow stretching as far as the eyes could see. That's for you, Molly, whispered Harvest Mouth. It's a special present for saving us. And Molly smiled happily, surrounded by her family and her new friends. So that was nice. Harvest Mouth said that was a present for Molly for saving all of her friends in the rain. That is a beautiful rainbow. That's what happens after the rain, right, my friends? When the rain and the sun comes up, I think we should sing our, our cloud song. So put up your rain cloud. Here comes a rain cloud passing by, dropping raindrops in my eye. Out comes the sunshine up so high. Now there's a rainbow in the sky. Oh, 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 who wouldn't go? Oh, 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 who wouldn't go under the rainbow? Yes, sirree, under the rainbow, you and me. Good job. And Molly Mouse and all of her friends. They were all under the rainbow too. That's right. All right, my friends. So today we have a few pages to do. And our pages today are some counting pages. So I'm gonna start with this one first. And this one, we have to see which number is the right number. Let's move this around a little bit so my friends can see better. There we go. So this is called seed counting. Oh, boys and girls, what kind of seeds are those? Are those apple seeds? No. Pumpkin seeds? No. Sunflower seeds? No, these are watermelon seeds. Mm. 
So we are going to count the watermelon seeds and see which number we need to circle. So let's start with this watermelon. You count along with me. One, two, three. Boys and girls, remember when you are counting, you need to touch what you're counting and only say a number when you touch what you're counting. So let's try that again. We are going to use our fingers and as we touch a seed, we're going to say a number. One, two, three. All right, so boys and girls, a three goes like this. Up and around, what will it be? Down and around makes the number three. So we have to look along here and see which one of those numbers is a number three. Oh, I see it right there. So we're going to put a circle around that three and we're going to color our watermelon. Boys and girls, what is the color is the inside of a watermelon? Did you say red? Good job. What about the outside? You don't eat the outside, the skin on a watermelon. Lots of fruit, you can eat the skin, like apples and pears and plums, strawberries, raspberries. You can eat the outside, but the watermelon, you do not eat this part. And what color is it? Green, very good, it's green. So you're gonna color the outside green the inside red. Good. All right, let's go to the next picture. Remember, we're going to touch the seed and say a number as we touch the seed. So on your paper, you're going to touch with Peter Pointer. I'm going to touch with Peter Pointer and we're going to count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a six looks like this. Down and around the circle we go. That makes a six, don't you know? Oh my goodness. So we have to look at our numbers and look and we want to try and match it to this one. So, oh, there it is. We're going to circle that six and we're going to color the inside of our watermelon red and the outside green. All right, let's go to the next watermelon. Oh, there's a lot of seeds in this watermelon. So make sure that you only say a number when you touch it, because that means we'll get the right number. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's my favorite. So a nine is a circle and a line makes the number nine. So let's take a look at our numbers and we need to find the number nine. There it is. So we're going to give it a circle. Let's try these watermelon seeds. Let's how many, count how many are there. Get that Peter Pointer ready and touch the seed and say the number. One, two, three, four. Okay, so down and across and down once more. That's how you make the number four. This four is a little bit different, my friend, because sometimes you can touch the top of the number four together. So this is not a four because that was our three. This is a five and this is a four. It looks a little bit different. This one goes down and across and down once more. That one looks like that. Usually we leave our tops open, but they can close like this too. So this is our number four. So we're going to give it a circle. Now we're going to go to the next watermelon and see how many seeds are in that watermelon. Ready, Peter Pointer? All right, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. So a five looks like this with a little neck and a 
and a belly like that. And number five, he wears a hat. All right, so let's look down at our numbers and I see number five right there. So give him a circle and then you can color your watermelon. And our last watermelon, let's see how many seeds he has. So is Peter Pointer ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So remember, an eight goes like this. Start with an S and then don't wait. Race back to the gate and make a number eight. All right, so let's look at our numbers and find a number eight. There it is. Give it a circle and color your watermelon. That was good seed counting. So you're gonna count the seeds, circle the right number, and color your watermelon. Good job, my friends. So that's our seed counting. All right. So the next one is some counting too. This one is summer counting. Oh, I see some watermelon up there too. There we go. So we are going to count the items in the row and then we have to put the right number at the end. So I'm going to need you to help me count again. And we're going to do the same thing. We're only going to say a number when we touch it to make sure we get the right number. So first we're going to count the watermelon slices. The other one we counted the seeds inside the watermelon. Now we're going to count how many slices of watermelon we have. Ready? One, two, three, four. All right. So our four goes down and across and down once more. That's how you make the number Four. Nice. Now, next one, we are going to count sandcastles. Get Peter Pointer ready. We're going to count sandcastles. One, two, three. Good job. So a three goes up and around. What will it be? Down and around makes your number sure your three is pointy in the middle. Looks like the bumblebee wing, but it's got its pointer in the middle. The sharp, sharp, sharp. Oh my goodness. Now we have a whole lot of flip flops. We're going to count each one of those flip flops and find out how many do we have. Are you ready? We're going to touch a flip flop and say a number. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's my favorite again. Nine. Do you remember how to make the nine? A circle and a line makes the number nine. Good. Oh, our next one has heart sunglasses. I was thinking that Weather Bear had heart sunglasses, but it's his blue ones for blue day that are shaped like a heart. So he has, we're going to count the heart sunglasses. So these are a little bit tricky because you need two hearts to make one pair of glasses. So this one, we're not counting the hearts. We are counting the glasses. So we have one, two pairs of glasses. That's a tricky one. So the two goes over the rainbow, slide right down and run across the ground. Good job. And lastly, we have beach balls. So we are going to count how many beach balls we have. Have you ever played with a beach ball, my friends? It's a lot of fun and beach balls are rainbow colors just like the rainbow that came out for Molly in the story.
beach balls get to be rainbow colors. So, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So are you ready to count them? One, two, three, four, five. Very good, my friends. So a five has a little neck and a belly like that. And number five, he wears a hat. There we go. So we counted the watermelon, the sandcastles, the flip-flops, the sunglasses, and beach balls. We found four slices of watermelon, three sandcastles, nine flip-flops, two pairs of sunglasses, and five beach balls. So you're gonna write those numbers in your squares there get to color your beautiful pictures. All right, my friends. The next thing I'm going to teach you, we're going to sing a song. A song about weather. And we have four types of weather. Our first weather that we have is sunny. So I'm going to write sunny in yellow, just like the sunshine is yellow. All right, so sunny is S, U, N, N, Y. There's Sunny. That's our first weather. The next weather is rainy. So there you go. I'm going to put a, I'm going to print rainy in blue or like the water. So R A I N Y. Rainy. Then our next weather is windy. So I'm going to do wind in pink. So W I N D Y. Windy. And our last one is snowy. So snowy starts with an S too. Oh my goodness, my, life, my letters are going downhill. So S N O W Y. Snowy. Okay. So my friends, we are going to start at sunny, and the song goes like this. There was a time when we were hot. Are we hot in the sun? And sunny was the weather. Now we're going to spell sunny in our song. S-U-N-N-Y, S-U-N-N-Y, S. -U -N -N -Y. S U N N Y and sunny was the weather. Good job. Now we're going to move on to rainy. There was a time when we were wet. Do we get wet in the rain? Yes. And rainy was the weather. R A I N Y. R time when 
when we were cold. And snowy was the weather. S N O W Y. S N O W Y. S N O W Y. Snowy was the weather. Good job, my friends. Now we're going to try that one more time, and I want you to sing along with me. And when I point to the letters, I want you to say the letters' names with me. Are you ready? So remember, when the weather is sunny, we're hot. When it's raining, we're wet. When it's windy, we're cool. And when it's snowy, we're cold. Are you ready? There was a time when we were hot. Sunny was the weather. S-U-N-N-Y. 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 Sunny was the weather. There was a time when we were wet. Rainy was the weather. R-A-I-N-Y, 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 and rainy was the weather. There was a time when we were cool, windy was the weather. W-I-N-D-Y, W-I-N-D-Y, W-I-N-D-Y. time when we were cold. Snowy was the weather. S-N-O-W-Y. 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 Snowy was the weather. Good job, my friends. So that's one of our songs. Now I'm going to read you my other book that I have. So this book is about those crazy storms that we were having. Do you remember what they were called? Thunderstorms, that's right. It's time to watch and listen. We're going to read a book. We'll sit on the rug and use our eyes to look. We'll look at the pictures, hear the story too. I'm so glad I have this story to share with you. It's going to talk a little bit about some of this weather. It's called Thunder Boomer. Is that the sound that the thunder makes? Boom, 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 boom. It is. And that's what this story is called. Thunder Boomer. Thunder Boomer. Oh, there it is again. The day was hot, and Dad was out in his tractor plowing the seat, plowing the fields in the sun. Tom slapped his feet against the surface of the pond. I was sprawling in the shade of the chestnut tree, and Scooter was panting with his tongue hanging out. That's what dogs do when they're when they're hot. Mother comes down the path and settles down on the dock. Oh, I hope this heat breaks soon, she says. I think we need a thunder boomer. Suddenly there was a soft touch of a breeze. A leaf tipped over and then another. Oh, feel that breeze, said Tom. I scrambled to my feet and I stretched out my arms. I could catch a little welcome of the wind, but it had turned a little chilly. Dark clouds were hiding the sun now. The wind started to stir up the pond and rustle through the corn. 
Mom looked around and says, oh, I think it's time for us to head on back. There's a storm on the way. So we scurry home across the fields and dad drives his tractor into the barn and shuts the door. Tom runs, runs around and flaps his arms to try and get all of the chickens into the chicken coop while mom and I race to yank the laundry down from the line. Scooter's following around all over us. He wants to play. Leaping high, he snags something white. Stop it, Scooter! Drop it, I yell. But he doesn't listen. Then suddenly there's a lightning flash across the sky and the wind steals his prize. Let it go! Mom shouts and she grabs the laundry basket and we run. Thunder rumbles all around as we reach the porch. Tom and Scooter join us soon, and the last one in is Dad. He bounds across the yard just as the little cloud cracked open, and then, as if somebody turned on the faucet, the rain comes gushing down and down and down. That's what happened to our storm, wasn't it? Flutters by the shed. I squint into the rain. It's Maisie, our favorite chicken. She got caught out in the storm. Dad sighs as he jams on his hat tight and he dashes out into the downpouring rain. He jumps over the puddles. Scooter barks and tags along. Ruff, ruff. They're off to rescue Maisie. Dad bends down to scoop her up. But she fought and she poked him. What's wrong? That's not like her at all. As soon as they return, mother herds us all inside. Dad is drenched from and dragging his hat and his soggy shoes. Scooter's claws are going click. Until he finds his footing. He's slipping and squishing by carrying a grumpy Maisie. Then, staring down at his dripping head, he twists and shakes and splatters all of his water on us. Dad put Maisie down and she stalks across the floor, complaining with each step. Mother soaks up the puzzle the puddles while Tom and I rush from room to room, slamming the windows shut. Boom, boom, zzz, crack, rumble, rumble, boom, boom. There's another bolt of lightning and then another thunder follows. It's making our whole house shake. Scooter gets scared and he hides underneath the couch, but the rest of him won't fit. The thunder boomer is here, shouts mom. Gusting rain pelts the roof and the maple branches brush and romp against the walls. Then something white goes whipping past the, win it past the window and through the air. <gasps> Look, it's dad's underwear. Tom and I start laughing and we can't stop. Then we hear the pitter patter. Ping, ping, ping. Oh no, cries dad. It's Hale. He slumps into his chair. Hale is not good. It, it might shred the corn leaves. It could dent our metal roof. Scooter whines. He does not like that noise at all. I put my arm around him, his body shaking and quivering. Shh, I tell him, it's all right. That's just the thunder boomer. It's showing off. And then the hail, click, 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 ding, ding, ding. It's coming down harder. 
and faster. Just when I think it's never going to end, all of a sudden, on the maple tree all settle down. There's only one thing I hear, a single little sound. Ping! Scooter pushes his, his head out from under the couch. See, I say, it's over. That mean old storm is gone. Suddenly, Maisie flutters out from under Dad's chair, where she's been sulking this whole time. She marches through the kitchen and straight to the back door. Scooter scrambles after her. They both want to go back outside. So we go outside to a world that is wet and deep green. The puddles in the yard are full of floating hail and leaves. Our metal roof is dimpled just a bit. The corn leaves are, the corn is leaning but not ruined. Scooter sniffs all around. His tail is high in the air. He smells something soggy and dank in the mud. It's Dad's underwear! Dad chases Scooter. Tom and Mom join in, but I'm watching Maisie. All of a sudden, she starts clucking around the shed. She's pecking and poking and bobbing her head. What is she searching for? Why has she been so grouchy? Suddenly, she ruffles her feathers. What has she found? Maisie? Quack, quack. Maisie shelters something small, something wet. I reach under her wing and... Oh, it's a kitten! Soaking wet from the storm. I hold him close and I stroke his rain slicked fur. He licks my thumb and he purrs. Well, 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 Dad says. The storm has left a gift. May we keep him, please, I ask? We could call him Stormy. No, oh, said Tom, he should be Thor, the mighty god of thunder. Mother says he does need a name. She looks Dad in the eye and Dad shakes his head and sighs. Okay, we can keep this gift. Just listen to that thundering purr. Then I said, I know the perfect name. We can call him Thunder Boomer. Now the air smells as sweet as butter. Everything is all washed down and clean. The puddles have all dried up. The clouds have traveled on. And all I can hear is the quiet evening sounds. The calls of the owls beyond the pond. The click or the, the cluff of the toads in mother's garden and the low sleeping rumble of my little tired thunder boomer. There she is. So Maisie was trying to look after the kitten and she was worried when she got brought into the house and the poor little kitten got left outside. But they hadn't found the kitten yet. Thunder boomer is the perfect name for a kitten found in a thunderstorm. That was the perfect name. All right, my friends. My next sheet is, let's do this one. This one, we have to look at the 
slices of watermelon and decide, did we print a number on it or a letter? So first of all, you are going to come down to the bottom of your sheet and you're going to trace on top because there's either a number or a letter on them. So our first one, my friends, is a letter R, an uppercase R. So you're going to trace on top and then you're going to cut it out and you're gonna glue it in this column because this column says letters and this column says numbers. So we're gonna put our letters over here. Our next watermelon has the number three. So you are going to cut out that three and put it over here with the numbers. The next one has a lowercase d, just like we did in Monday. So we are going to put it, cut it out, and glue it over here in the letters. The next watermelon has the letter A, like this. So the letter A is going to go in this column. The next watermelon has the number seven. Just like we have seven days in the week today, we did four and three, seven. So it's going to go over here with the numbers. The next watermelon has the letter M. So we're going to put it over here because it's the letter M. Then we have a watermelon with the number six. A number six. So we're going to glue that over here because that is a number six. The next watermelon has the letter C, uppercase C. So we're going to glue that one over here. The next watermelon has the number four. So that's a number. We're going to glue that one over under the numbers. The next watermelon has my favorite, nine. That is a number over here. The next watermelon has a G. G is a letter. So we're going to put it over here and it's an uppercase G. The next watermelon has an eight. And an eight is a so we're going to glue it over there. So all of our watermelons we're going to glue in the right spot. If it's a letter, it's going over here. If it's a number, it's going over here. You are doing watermelon letter sorts. So you're going to sort the letters and the numbers into the right spot. Your last sheet is some C counting, kind of like the first one, but this time you have to draw a line. So they've helped you out with one, but they helped you out with the easiest one because that watermelon only had one seed in it. So you're going to draw a line from your watermelon to the number one because there's only one seed in it. So let's start with this one. So we are going to remember, as we touch the seed, we're going to say a number. So we're going to say one, two, three. And we have to look down here and find a number three. So we're going to start here, no, yes. So we're going to draw a line from our three seed watermelon to number three. All right, let's count our seeds here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that's not a seven. That's not a seven. That's not a seven. That's not a seven. This is a seven across the sky and slide down from heaven. That's how you make your number seven. So you're going to draw a line from this seven seed watermelon all the way straight, 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 straight down to the number seven. Good job. All right, so that one they already did for us. So we're going to, we can draw on top of that line. 
Let's try this watermelon. Let's count how many seeds are in this watermelon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so let's take a look at our numbers. Is this a number nine? Nope. No. Yes, that is a number nine. So we're gonna draw from this number nine seed watermelon to the number nine. And our last watermelon on this side, let's count one, two, three, four, five. So we have to find the number five. We're gonna go down until we find, oh, there's the number five. Draw a line from our watermelon to our number five. Then we're gonna go over here and count how many seeds are in this watermelon. There's a lot. Let's count them. Remember, touch and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. So now we have to look at our numbers and find the number ten. No, no. There is our number ten. So we're gonna draw a line down to the number 10. Let's count our seeds in this watermelon. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to look at our numbers and find where is our number six. Two, eight, 10, six, there it is. So we're gonna draw a line from there, the watermelon down to the number six. Let's count the watermelon seeds in this watermelon. One, two, three, four. Two, eight, ten, six, four. There it is. So we're gonna draw a line down to the number four. Now we're gonna count the seeds in our next watermelon. One, two, good job. So number two is way up here, so we have to draw a line way up there. And try and keep your lines nice and straight so they don't get wiggly and squiggly and they might get mixed up to which number you're going to. Let's count our last watermelon with its seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. All right, this is a two. This is an eight. So we're gonna draw our line up, 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 to the number eight. Good job, way up to the number eight. And don't forget on the top of all of your pages to write your name. Or if you need a little more space, you can turn your paper over and write your name on the but you should always be practicing to write your name with your both upper and lowercase letters. Just like when we write our days of the week names on the board, you only get one uppercase. So just your first letter gets to be uppercase and all the rest of them have to be lowercase. That's right. All right, so the next one, boys and girls, I have a little song to teach you, and it's about thunder, because we've been hearing that. And this song is called, I Hear Thunder. So you're going to do some actions on this song. So you're gonna put your hand up to your ear like this and say, I hear thunder, I hear thunder. Hark, don't you, hark. Don't you? Pitter patter raindrops, pitter patter raindrops, I'm wet through, so are you. Oh, are you ready to try that one with me again? Okay, get your ears ready. Get them out. I hear thunder, I hear thunder. Hark, don't you? Hark, don't you? Pitter patter raindrops, pitter patter raindrops, I'm wet through, so are you. Good job. That was
was the first verse. And the second verse is we're going to go outside. So we don't want to get wet. Now we know that we need to put on some special clothes. What do you need to put on in the rain? You need to put on a coat and you need to put on boots. That's right. Put your coat on, put your boots on. Hurry now, hurry now. Put up your umbrella, put up your umbrella. I'm all dry, so are you. Good job. Okay, let's try that one again. Ready? Put your coat on, put your boots on. Hurry now, hurry now. Put up your umbrella, put up your umbrella. You're all dry, so am I. Good job, my friends. So let's try those verses both together. Are you ready? All right. I hear thunder, I hear thunder. Hark, don't you, hark, don't you. Pitter patter raindrops, pitter patter raindrops. I'm wet through, so are you. Put your coat on, put your boots on. I'm hurry now, hurry now. Put up your umbrella, put up your umbrella. I'm all dry, or sorry, you're all dry, so am I. Good job, my friends. So I will send the words to those songs along with you today too. And I will see you back here on Wednesday. And we'll see by Wednesday if we have any more crazy weather that we'll have to talk about. But I thought that would be fun to do weather, rain and weather today. Because we have had some crazy weather over the weekend. So, until I see you on Wednesday, the goodbye train is coming. See you soon. Choo, choo. Oh, the goodbye train is coming. See you soon. Goodbye train is coming, the goodbye train is coming, see you soon, choo choo. Oh, we'll say goodbye to all the boys, see you soon. Oh, we'll say goodbye to all the girls, see you soon. Oh, we'll say goodbye to everyone, say goodbye to everyone. Say goodbye to everyone, see you on Wednesday. And until I see you on Wednesday, stay safe and healthy.